YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while. I'm very happy to be back here, but I have some things to take care of in New York City. This video is all about this camera right here. And this is the Nikon One Touch 35 millimeter point and shoot. This is actually kind of a V2 of another camera that was released before it, which is I think called the Nikon uh, AF35 something. Basically, it's a whole line of automatic point and shoot cameras that are very plasticky. They look super 80s, as you can tell by the design. And they all have pop-up flashes here, which is very, very important to kind of the benefits of this camera. So why did I pick this camera up? Well, as I mentioned, I had a couple of things to take care of in New York City. And one of those was my own wedding party. Of course, I got married earlier this year in London, but now it was time to party. So finally, because of vaccinations and all that other good stuff, we can actually do that fairly safely with a lot of people. And that's exactly what we did. So let's go ahead and check out some of the footage from the party and then obviously look at some of the pics as well. And then I'll get back to you and talk to you more about this camera. Yo, so that party was lit. I don't know if you can tell by the videos, but I was real sauced and I was having a great time. But this camera was also part of why I was having a good time. Obviously, I was there to enjoy myself and party and hang with friends, but I had to take some photos. And this style of camera is basically the best kind of camera, in my opinion, to do exactly that in that type of setting. So first and foremost, before I give you kind of specifics on the, the technical kind of workings of this camera, who is this camera for? This camera and this style of camera, let's say, so point and shoots with automatic features and a flash, it's for all you people who like to party. If you like to go out and hang out with friends and do really kind of, you know, fun things that involve lots of drinking, nightlife, partying, this is the perfect camera for you. Why is that? Well, these type of cameras typically have very, very few controls. You can usually set the ISO or maybe, you know, one other setting here and there. But the whole point is that you point it at your subject, you press the trigger button and boom, you take a photo. And of course they've got flash too, which is extremely helpful at night because you know, without the flash, you're probably gonna have a lot of underexposed images if you can even focus at all. So I love this camera for that purpose and had a fantastic time shooting it during my party when I was drunk and having a good time. And I didn't really care about having to fuss too much. I just wanted to collect some cool images on film. So let's talk about this one specifically. Uh, what are the pros about this camera? Well, first and foremost, as I mentioned, is the flash. And tied to the flash is actually those two little things you see right there. That's how you autofocus on this camera. So this camera basically emits a bit of a signal and using these two kind of sensors right here, it's able to actually autofocus in any light. Doesn't matter how dark it is, as long as the sensor can kind of bounce some information off of your subject, it's going to be able to focus. And it works pretty well. The only issue is that the actual focusing kind of uh, patch on this camera, let's say if you want to call it a patch, it's a very, very small area. You can see it when you look through the viewfinder. So as long as you're pointing that at your subject, you will be totally fine. Um, if your subject is very small, or if you happen to kind of not point it at your subject, especially if you just kind of put your camera up and you know take shots like this without really focusing with your eyes, then you might miss a shot here and there. But I don't think in that case it's the camera's fault. It's more you kind of putting your luck on the line and seeing if you can actually catch your subject without very explicitly pointing it at them. So the autofocus works great in my opinion, despite that particular kind of thing to know. And that's not a flaw, this is a very old camera, so you wouldn't expect them to perfect that for kind of like a wide uh, amount of the coverage here, um, given that it's very kind of ancient technology at this point. Um, the other thing about this camera that I really like is of course the lens. It is a Aperture 2.8 lens, which is fantastic because you can actually start to pull out some bokeh when you do portraits. Um, you cannot control when to shoot at 2.8, and we'll talk about that in a bit. But assuming the camera is shooting at 2.8, you're gonna get really nice stylized images as the ones you can see here. It's not extremely sharp at 2.8, you know, your images will look very acceptable and nice, but they'll probably be a bit soft. Um, you know, when you shoot wide open with any lens, that's typically not the sharpest point, and it definitely isn't with the lens as this old. Um, the last thing I want to mention about this camera is that it has fully kind of automatic features in every way So you don't have to think you just point the camera shoot it and that's it you get your pictures You know the look is what it gives you 
And if you want control, don't buy this camera. If you don't want the control, you wanna just have a good time, especially when you're sauce, like I said earlier, then this is the kind of thing you need because you won't have to worry about anything. All right, let's talk about the cons about this camera. Um, I think, you know, one thing I would like to control on this camera, even though I don't really need a lot of controls, is the ISO. So for example, um, I was trying to shoot some film that didn't have DX coding, and when you put it in this camera, it's just gonna automatically choose an ISO for you. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know exactly what that ISO is, but I'm assuming it's probably ISO 100, because that's typically you know very common and very cheap. So I figure the camera will just assume that's the case. Um, that's not good in many cases, especially if you're shooting color, because the more that you underexpose your images, let's say if you have an ISO 400 film um, or something like that, then you know your images are gonna come out very blown out, or they're gonna come out very underexposed, and then the colors kind of shift. Um, you know, especially if you want to push film as well, you can't in this camera. Um, I guess they, the theory is, you know, if you don't have a lot of light, you're supposed to use the flash. So that's kind of the only major con in my opinion. Um, for some of you out there who really want a bit more control, perhaps not being able to control the aperture is also a con. Because uh, sometimes maybe you want to force the camera to shoot at 2.8 just because you want nice bokeh behind your images, for example. Um, I don't think that's that important. As I mentioned, this camera, that is not the intention of the design of this camera, but you know, maybe you can consider it a con. The other thing that's a bit of a con about this camera is that it's kind of very plasticky. This thing, I have a feeling if I were to drop it from any reasonable height, it's basically done. You're either gonna break the plastic or you're gonna you know, damage some of the electronics in here. You'll probably hear something get soft and start to kind of rattle around in there. That's not ideal. You shouldn't drop any camera, honestly, because that's probably not good, but there's a lot of film cameras from back in the day that are built like tanks. There's usually the metal cameras. Obviously, this is not a metal camera, so it's probably not gonna be able to survive. So that's about it. That's all you really gotta say about this camera. I think usability is the reason you buy it. Um, the, this usability is extremely easy. You know, it's small, you can fit it in any pocket. You can pull it out and just kind of point it and take a shot. There's no filling around. There's nothing to mess up with this camera. The worst that can happen when you use this camera is that something's gonna be out of focus. But the exposure readings are really good on this camera. Um, it can handle basically all kinds of scenes, and I never really dealt with any over or under exposure. As you do notice in some of my images, there was a bit of a halo effect. Um, that's actually not something that happens with this camera normally. Um, as I mentioned, I use this at my party, and I think at some point throughout the night, I touched the lens and smudged it, or maybe got some booze on it. You know, I was drinking champagne and you know, popping bottles and stuff. So maybe that's why the lens had something on it, and then therefore the light would kind of you know, get diffused in there and give you this nice halo. It looks kind of cool in some images and in others, I don't really like it, but you know, next time I'll just make sure to clean the lens. So in general, if you like to party, if you like to go out there and get lit and hang out with your friends and you know, just kind of live your life, I think you need to get a point and shoot, whether it's this one or one of the other ones. I probably recommend don't get one of the expensive ones because if you're drunk, it's probably not a good idea. You might break it at some point, but if you get a cheaper one like this, if you do break it, you can just buy another one. Um, you know, it's kind of dispensable like that, even though this is not a disposable camera. This is significantly better than any disposable camera you're gonna get out there. So if you're a party person and you like to do your thing, get a point and shoot. All right, y'all, that's the video for today. Let me know down in the comments. You have a point and shoot, which is your favorite? And if you have this camera, do you like it? Because I think I like it, but uh, sometimes I go back and forth and think maybe one of the other models of this would be better where you get a little bit more control. All right, y'all, till the next video, I'm out.